later in the fight. So last time we have constructed a unique section from KR to OCP flat or whatever notation to R. Which is a ring of morphism. And in particular, this induces an embedding of this cape arc to R. So, let's talk about uh, more structure of this R. So, it's the first part. Second part, yeah, we have proved that the last time. So it, this is a complete valuation ring, not discrete valuation. This is not a discrete valuation ring because actually you have all the pnth roots of uniformizer gives you the valuation any rational number and so this is not uh, this image is not a lattice of cues it's not discrete valuation ring which characteristic p moreover we describe that is the maximum ideal those under the valuation which It's given by evaluate a tuple on the first component by the extension of the PID valuation of OK bar. We'll collect those. So for this valuation, always the maximum idea of those have positive valuation. And what is interesting is this is the residue field. This fraction field of R also given by CP flat is perfect. Non Ash meeting field is it complete? Non Ash meeting field. Non Ash meeting perfect field. Okay, which characteristic B is perfect here, I mean the probability is isomorphism. Okay, let's do the exercise today. So firstly, let's prove a lemma, prepare for our second exercise. So we aim to prove that this fractional idea of R is more over algebraically closed. So in the first part, let's prove that for any integer natural number and for any polynomial with coefficient in this R. There exists some element x such that it's PID evaluation, sorry, it's extension of the PID evaluation or the valuation of this discrete, the valuation of this ring R we just described. So when you evaluate it here, this is again R. So with this valuation or this valuation ring, I'm not saying I, I could always give you a element such that Px is zero, which means the valuation is infinity. But I'm in this exercise, I'm just asking you to show that there always exists some element with, which is close enough to zero, which is close enough to, which is very close to root of px, right? If I'm 
if I'm seeing that for any polynomial, and there is always a root that I'm saying that this is R is algebraically closed already. I'm not proving that. I'm proving that later. But let's prove this lemma firstly. We're going to use this theta n. We call that we have this theta n from R to, let's say, O k bar. Equation by uh, two generated by P. Such map exists for any uh, natural number. And recall also in last exercise, or maybe in the last two previous exercises, we have proved that the kernel of theta n could be described to be the elements of R whose valuation is bigger equal to p to the power n. You remember we use this to show that the inverse limit topology and the valuation topology are the same topology over R. So to find element x in R such that its valuation for its evaluation of x is bigger equal to p to the power n is equivalent to Equivalent find element of R such that you see the kernel, right? This is in the kernel of the time, which it means theta and P of X equal to zero. Now let this P of X supposes X to the power B plus Let's say M. So let's say AD times x to the power d plus. Not necessarily, but not known. Alpha 1, sorry, A1, x plus A0. More x. Then it's the qx to be alpha d x to the power d plus alpha one x plus alpha zero. Stunning so, okay bar of x. So how do you get this alpha i? This alpha i is defined to be so you first apply c n to a i. So this lies in okay bar p ok bar and then you just take any lift of this to ok bar so because bar is algebraically closed and so qx has a root let's call it u in ok bar and so this u is 
yoke bar. Then we have this U bar is a bokeh bar, kosher mitzvah, sita bar. And then let's just take any inverse image of, because this is sita in this directive, and the inverse image of this U is denoted by Y. Then notice this Y satisfies what we want. Because sita we just have to change this in the kernel of C time for P of Y. So this is by our construction. This is C time of uh, C N A D Y to the power D plus C time A one Y plus C time zero. Right. This is in this is in so all the coefficients are in okay bar over P and this Y is in sorry. So we apply theta and have also apply theta on Y. What is theta and apply on Y? This would be U bar. Right, this is again in okay bar quotient by this is U bar again. So I mean this is totally in okay bar quotient by P OK bar, but this is our Mm, this is our alpha d bar u bar plus alpha one bar u bar plus alpha zero bar. This is totally q of y bar, right? So q of u, sorry, q of u bar. Q of u equals zero. Of course, this is also zero. So you have to find what we want. So the second part of the exercise is called proposition. Show that this fraction field R is algebraically closed. So the idea is that we're already able to for exercise one for any px in rx we can already find some uh, elements of r such that p of y is close to zero in the sense that we could find element y such that it's genetic, uh, sorry, it's valuation over p of y is sometimes some sense as close as you want. So the basic idea is we're going to use some induction to construct a series approaching to a zero of polynomial that is separable which show separably closed and because this is a perfect field and separately closed it becomes algebraically closed. Okay proof. So things this is perfect. And since we know that uh, the algebra closure coincides with separable closure for perfect fields. Actually where general statement is so k bar over k is Galois if and only if this is our spec closure is Galois if and only if k is perfect. Galois means 
separable normal, right? In particular, a perfect case, perfect implied that k bar algebra closure is a separable extension in general. In general, when we have this separable extension, is always a algebra uh, algebra closure, but not necessary to this. Okay, so we, so it suffices to prove this fraction idea of R is separately closed. So we have to prove that for any monic polynomial still denote by x to the power d plus d minus one x to the power d minus one plus x zero until a one x plus a zero. Being separable. As a root in R. Right? Because this is separable. So it has derivation and px cobra. And so there exists some u0 and u0. Wait, wait. So here I should take any frank of our course. Fraction idea of R. X. In the fraction, yeah, fraction idea of R. X. Fraction field, sorry. Such that U0 P prime plus V0 P equals 1. And then let's just clear the denominator. Just pick any positive valuation element. Let's normalize it such that, or just choose a man starting at this valuation is one. Then just by sum, power of m. Well, ter clear all the denominators of u zero and v zero to make them into not only frac r x but r x. Then we also have this uh, pi two. Let's call this, give it a name, u and v. Now we have u p plus v p prime equals pi to the power n. Now what we are going to do is we're going, we want to construct a sequence. So let's say by exercise one, we already know that. So there exists some x Frank mm. 
further. So let's see R such that. So which polynomial do we want to approximate? Of course, it's P of X. P of X has its valuation in R bigger or equal than P to the power of N for any N, right? I mean, yeah, for any N you have find X in. But when you do this, you cannot you cannot say that okay then x and uh, the limit of x exists we don't know right because we don't know it forms a Cauchy sequence or not so we are going to construct as follows so let n0 to be 2n plus 1 We will want to construct a sequence x n starting from this index n zero r and the sequence in r or such that this is a Cauchy sequence. Secondly, the evaluation of Px of this element is closer and closer to zero. And of course, once we could list the limit, we list. And this would be R because R is complete. Evaluation topology. And so we are done. And so to construct this, so here comes some very precise computation, which is looks very technical and not that interesting, but let me sketch the idea here. Suppose so x and zero exists. In other words, so this is by a slightly modification, up to a slight modification of those index exercise one we have done today. Uh, I mean we start with the element that is whose valuation at P of it is close to zero. Which means so let's recall in our setting this means that we have find element uh, x and 0 such that firstly we don't have to compare it with its previous element as Cauchy is equal this is starting element so firstly p of x and 0 is bigger equal than sorry 4 into pi of uh, n 0 R so zero we here we have put one zero to be two n plus one right you could always do this because for any for any n you could do this in particular for two n plus one you could find x and zero such that p of it is close to zero which means it's valuation is bigger equal to two n plus one. And then for the next step, we have to be careful. We have to satisfy both conditions that it's close, and closer and closer to previous element that its valuation is bigger and bigger for the evaluation of px on this element. Right. So we have to. We're going to construct as follows. Notice that. x plus y that's polynomial so when I put this I'm just mean that x plus y to the power very formal x plus 
plus one plus a zero r of x and then notice that this is so sub exercise that you to check it this is combinatorics is the same as px plus y times p prime of y p prime of x sorry plus addition for those g bigger equal than to y to the power j p j of x so you just have to compute whether it is pj of x right this is basically you did the formula that you just computed precisely and let me tell you this pj of x would be addition for all those j uh, say i bigger equal than j then c i j a i times x i minus j and then we are going to in some sense find y such that this idea let me put it into a parenthesis such that x n plus one minus x n equals y Right, or in other words, we're going to find y and then we define our xn to be xn plus one. So we start with xn zero, we're going to start with define what is xn zero plus one by tau what is the y, or if you want to call it yn and just give one description one step. If this step works, then works mean that it means that the valuation of so plus one minus x and it's bigger equal than a minus n and p of x and plus one is four into the pi to the power n plus one of r. If this works then by induction we were done. Okay. Then how do we do that? Then just notice that. So he said, actually, just have to find the y's such that this satisfies whole condition. The first condition is that valuation of y itself have to be bigger equal than minus n. Right, and this is satisfied. Secondly, the valuation of P of X and plus Y times P, pro, P derivation X and plus one is bigger equal than plus one. Why this is the case? Surely this corresponds to this fact. It's because, so which means let's just compare this px n plus one and what do we know, right? So how do we do this? Then notice that p of x n plus one actually this is by just put x n plus one into it. It's just by our observation of the polynomial formula, it's just p of x n y times p derivation evaluated on x n plus summation j bigger equal than two y to the power j p bracket j x n if valuation of y is bigger equal than minus n then valuation of 
y to the power jp bracket jx and it can be greater equal to two times and minus m because it start because it's j is bigger equal to two right in particular this would be bigger equal to m plus one by our construction of n for j bigger equal to two And so this part is okay. It's foreign to this. So this part is okay. And so you just have to, to be able to make this into evaluation bigger equal to m plus, m plus one. It's left with check this. That's why we put this condition here. Right. And now let's check just put y to be minus p x n over p derivation of x n works Because, because, I mean, indeed, notice that firstly, the valuation of ux times pxn, because u will clear all the denominator, so this uh, is positive valuation, and so lambda pxn is again by the induction, bigger equal than n. And because our relation of p prime, so u p plus v p prime equals pi to the power m, this tells that valuation v p prime of x n is valuation pi to the power m minus this u x n p x n, then by the triangle inequality would be or for unknown arch meaning case this would be just so you have this valuation bigger equal than m bigger than m this has valuation m so this valuation is the minimum one which is m This implies that this implies that valuation p prime of x n must be so this is positive and if this is multiplication is m which means the valuation of this must be less equal than m. So the valuation of this is less equal than m, and so the valuation of this is bigger equal than minus m. And variable construction, this also satisfies because this becomes px n times 